Hey guys, it's bargain hunting time again. Inside this box is hopefully a camera. A camera which I will use for vlogging, for traveling, for simple videos where I'm just chatting to the camera and for pickup shots for B-roll where I do product shots and different clips which I insert into my main videos. And this is a replacement of my Fujifilm X-T4 and without doubt the X-T4 is a more powerful camera, it's more feature rich, it's higher quality, but this, I believe, will be more practical for what I do. And in this box, I'm hoping, is the Sony RX100 Mark VII. Now, I owned the Sony RX100 Mark III, which I sold last year, and in 2021, the rumors are that we'll see the RX100 Mark VIII. But at the time of recording, right now, this is the most powerful RX100 which you can purchase. It's the most powerful one available in the market and it is a versatile little camera that can do 4k it's great for photographs it's great for many different things now you might be wondering why am i not going for the the zv1 or the zv1 that is an rx100 variation which is being marketed towards youtubers and marketers and different things and it was a camera which i did consider it was but the ZV-1 is based on the RX100 Mark V, as was the RX100 VA, and this RX100 Mark VII has got a better sensor, you know, the overall uh, quality is a little bit better, and the microphone is not as good as in the, the, the ZV-1, but I think it's a more versatile camera because you've got the flash and different things, you've got the viewfinder, and it still has that external mic port, which I will be utilising when I'm recording videos, and this still retails at about £900 in the UK. You can pick up about £750 from Hong Kong. But as I said, this is a bargain hunt. I did not pay that. This is the listing which I won on eBay. And you can see some of the pictures here. And I'm, I'm quietly confident here. I mean, I've, I've been quite good with bargain hunts over the years as far as picking up really good bargains, uh, you know, diamonds. Um, and I think I've done okay here. I mean, the quality of the camera looks pretty good, but obviously it's eBay. There's always an element of risk. Now, in comparison to the ZV-1, from a video recording point of view, this does not have the cold show mount at the top, but there are ways around it. And what I'm hoping to do is to buy something like this. I probably won't be using lots of attachments with it, but the handle is something which I could utilize and, you know, just an attachment, just a cage so that I can attach a microphone. Now. This was listed at £650, but it was listed at £650 or best offer. I made an offer of £550, it came back with me at £600, so £600, £8 postage, £608. So it's a very good price. Yes, I could have ponied, ponied up a little bit more cash for a brand new one from Hong Kong, but I think I've done well here. Here's hoping. So let's get this open and we'll see if I have indeed got a bargain. Okay, so I've got the, the big box off and this is what we have here. And you can see it does say RX100 Mark 7. Uh, I'll get it in short here. RX100 Mark 7. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like it's in good condition here. It really does look like it's in good condition. See all the features there that side 4K HDR, etc. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we've got here. Accessories. Manual. We've got the official Sony charger. We've got the hand strap. We've got a micro B charging cable. We've got an official Sony NP-BX1 battery, which hopefully the camera can focus on. There we go. And finally, we have the camera itself. Right, let's get the camera in position. Okay, let's see how we've done here. This is it. This is the Sony RX100 Mark VII. That's there, Sony RX100 Mark VII. And certainly first impressions are that this looks like it's in mint condition, absolutely perfect condition. 
know, I was prepared for a couple of scratches here or there, you know, given the price, and I would have been happy with that. But this looks perfect. This looks as new as you can get it. It really does look like it's in fantastic condition. Absolutely no complaints. Okay, let's get the battery in. Okay, the battery is in and we have liftoff. This is it, guys. This is the RX100 Mark 7. This looks absolutely fantastic. This is mint condition. Absolutely mint condition. Really, really happy with this. Uh, I think I've grabbed a bargain here. I really do think I've grabbed a bargain here. So, yep, there's the flash. We've also got the viewfinder. Now, obviously, I'm coming from the RX100 Mark III, so I do know exactly how this works. Uh, the, the key difference for me here will be 4K, which I didn't have before, and the mic port, which is there. So I've got the multi-port for charging. It's a USB for charging. USB charging is supported when you're using it. And then I've got the micro HDMI port, which I'm not a big fan of micro HDMI uh, ports in general. You know, I think the cables always break really easily, but obviously it makes sense to have a micro one here rather than a full-size HDMI. But yeah, this is absolutely mint condition. So what I'd like to do at this point is put a memory card in this and we'll try it out. So as you can see, I am in my messy office and this is where I have been recording this video. And of course, I am recording this with the Sony RX100 Mark 7. Now at this point, I haven't really tested anything. I formatted the memory card and I switched from PAL to NTSC, which has allowed me to record at 4K at 30 frames per second instead of 4K at 25. But I've not really went in there and, and changed anything yet. I've not really tested any features. Uh, I mean, the all focus of things that seems to be working well. And as you can see, this appears to have been sold with a one month warranty. So perhaps this was refurbished and sent back. That's okay. But yeah, everything seems to be good. I mean, the camera is in mint condition. It really is. Now, as I said, I'm recording at 4K at 30, but I am also right now using the built-in camera mics as well. And there is a little bit of noise here. I've started editing this video as well, so there's a little bit of noise from the fans because it's re rendering the clips, etc. And there'll be a little bit of noise from the lights as well. Not too much, but it is there. But of course, I do have that external mic port. So in the future, I could use a lavalier mic or well, anything really, I can attach this to anything. For example, I've got the Rode Video Mic NTG here, which I've been experimenting with as a boom mic. So yes, first impressions are positive and you can see what it's like here. Now this room, it's maybe not a, a great example of what this camera can do. I've kind of got it closed off right now because it you know, just makes it consistent with lighting. And the room is an absolute mess because I still have to buy storage and furniture. But yeah, you can see what this camera is capable of when you're recording at 4K at 30 frames per second. So it's pitch black outside, so I can't get outside right now. But I have connected up my Rode VideoMic NTG just to see how this performs with an external microphone. Of course, I've got no doubt that it will sound okay, but the audio levels are probably not good right now. There's always a balance between the settings on the external microphone and in the camera itself. So there's a lot of things for me to test in the future, but the point is I do have that external mic port, so I do have a lot of flexibility to how I record audio with the Sony RX100 Mark 7. Now, I'm going to state the obvious here and say I am happy with my purchase. I do think I've done really well here. Obviously, I have saved a lot of money buying used, but I don't think I've cut any corners here by doing that. This looks as new as you would, could get if you bought it. I mean, the sensor seems fine. There's no scratches or marks around the camera. It all seems good. There's no marks on the screen, and the screen looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, me coming from an RX100 Mark III, I can see that the display looks a lot better now. Of course, I will put a screen protector on there to protect it because I will add some marks to it. Now, I do need to test a lot of things at this point. Obviously, I do. I need to test the flash and the viewfinder. I need to go in and check settings and features. I need to do the firmware upgrade. I do need to test everything and make sure everything's okay. But I don't want to jinx myself, but I don't envision any problems with this camera moving forward. In my experience, certainly with compact cameras, 
the way that it works out of the box is how it's going to work for the next few years. Now, you get more problems with camcorders and mirrorless cameras with different lenses and things like that, but with a comp compact camera, it's, it's kind of what you see is what you get. Now, that's different to smartphones. With a smartphone, they do firmware upgrades you know, on a more regular basis, every few months perhaps, and you can get problems with that. And you can also get problems with the battery depleting over time and then it can't be replaced. Now, I probably should replace the battery here and buy some extra batteries, so that's not an issue. And as far as firmware goes, firmware upgrades for cameras seem to be few and far between. But what I will say is when a company like Sony releases a firmware upgrade for a camera, it tends to be stable and it tends to address minor bugs, not major bugs, in my experience anyway. So I don't think I'm going to get any major problems with this moving forward. Now, some of you might still think this is not a bargain and I've did the wrong thing. You may be saying, well, why didn't you pay another £142, buy this brand new from Hong Kong, or spend another 300 or so and buy it locally in the UK and get a UK warranty? But like I said, I don't envision any warranty problems. And I'll be honest, dealing with a warranty with people from Hong Kong, it, it's not good. My experience with Chinese marketplaces is that, yes, you can save money, but if anything goes wrong, it's, it's not a good experience. Now, the box does say, as you can see here, one month warranty, but I have absolutely no idea when that was put on the box. And I don't think it matters. I mean, this could be six months old. It could be a year old. The seller did say it was open, never used. Whether that's the case or not, I don't know. My guess is that, you know, this sticker says one month warranty. My guess is the, the, the seller bought this refurbished. So my guess is that this is the refurbished model or something, you know, maybe the box was damaged that had to be sold, not like new. Perhaps that's why the warranty was reduced. My guess, that's how he bought it. And that's why the one month warranty sticker is there. Um, I don't know, but I don't think it matters. I think I've done well here. I do need to buy a cage for this. I do need to buy a screen protector. I do need to check things, but I think I've done really well, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Sony RX100 Mark VII. Very quick look. I will be using this more in the future. I will be using this to record different clips of different things in my videos. And sometimes I'll just be grabbing the selfie stick like I did earlier. And again, and you know, just to state the obvious, but I do like coming from a larger camera coming down to this. I will use this more often because of it. You know, when something's bigger, you're like, like, you know, less likely to use it. But thanks for watching, guys. I love to hear from all of you as usual. And until next time, take care.